Our last part for today is looking at some operations with scientific notation. So how do we multiply numbers that are in scientific notation or divide numbers that are in scientific notation? Well, we could write them out as standard notation numbers and then do the math with them in that form and then put them back into scientific notation. But let's see if there might be a shortcut to not have to do all of that. So your first step with multiplication is to use the associative property to regroup and then use the product power rule to combine your exponents And then as we saw in problems 57 and 58, if the result you get is not in scientific notation, adjust decimal and exponent if needed to make the number in scientific notation. So let's look at some examples of that. When we're asked to multiply 3 times 10 to the 6th times negative 8 times 10 to the 3rd, since all three of the operations happening here are multiplication, we can regroup this into 3 times 8 times 10 to the 6th, oops, negative 8, times 10 to the 6th times 10 to the 3rd. 3 times negative 8 is going to be a negative 24. And 10 to the 6 times 10 to the 3rd, the product power rule says we can add those exponents together. So we get times 10 to the 9th. But you'll notice that this number isn't quite scientific notation because we've got a 24 here instead of a 2.4. So rather than stretching it all out and putting it back together, I'm going to remember that pattern that I noticed on the last two problems that we tried like this, that when the decimal needs to be moved back to make it a one-digit number instead of a two- or three-digit number, it always makes the exponent go up by the number of places that you moved it. So I'm going to change this negative 24 into a negative 2.4, and that's going to make my exponent go up to 10. Let's look at one more example of this. 6 times 10 to the negative 6th times 9 times 10 to the 13th can be rewritten as 6 times 9 times 10 to the negative 6 times 10 to the 13. Well, my 6 times 9 is 54, and 10 to the negative 6 times 13 is be, going to be 10 to the negative 6 plus 13, which is 10 to the 7. Again, I have the problem of 54 being a two-digit number instead of a one-digit number. So I'm going to rewrite it as 5.4, which will make my exponent go up to 8. The other thing we need to talk about is how you divide numbers in scientific notation. So using that same associative property, we're going to think of the number parts being separate from our power of tens. Okay. So if we write these, write the number and 10 power separately, then divide numbers, so just reducing the fraction, okay. and use the quotient power rule. That was the one that said when the base is the same, and in this case our base is always 10, we can just subtract the exponents.
to combine powers of 10. Okay. And then just like in the group above, if you need to, adjust the decimal. So let's look at a couple examples here. Problem 63, we have 8 times 10 to the 8th over 4 times 10 to the 4th. So I'm going to rewrite that as 8 over 4 times 10 to the 8 over 10 to the 4. Well, 8 divided by 4 gives me 2, and 10 to the 8th over 10 to the 4th, 8 minus 4 is 4 gives me 10 to the fourth. And since 2 is a number between 1 and 9, I don't need to change this, I don't need to do that last step of adjusting the decimal. Looking at this one, 5 over 2 times 10 to the 4 over 10 to the 9. 5 divided by 2, um, usually we've been leaving these fractions um, improper rather than doing the division. But in scientific notation, you'll notice that the number portion is always written as a decimal. So we do want to go ahead and rewrite this 5 halves in its decimal form, which is going to be 2.5. Then 10 to the 4 minus, or divided by 10 to the 9, is 10 to the 4 minus 9. So our final answer is going to be 2.5 times 10 to the negative fifth.